Still ahead, more is revealed about the mentally ill California mass shooter. Could he have been stopped? The president makes a surprise trip overseas who he personally wanted to thank. And special honor is given to those on the front lines protecting our city streets. Those stories and more when the CBS 58 News at 10 comes right back. between good and evil. How Milwaukee neighborhoods plan to stomp out violence with positivity. The more people come together on a positive note, the better. And the odds may not be in favor for Kenosha Casino, but plans are full steam ahead. Plus, voters are catching more than fish out on the lake. How to avoid a ticket. Plus, I'll show you if the cloud cover moving in this evening eventually leads to rain with your first alert forecast. Tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10, two armed teens, a stolen van, and a wild chase through Milwaukee's south side. Also, a group of cyclists make a powerful statement 10 years after a local firefighter's death. That caring for loved ones, that's what it's all about. And heartwarming moments at one memorial ceremony and a keynote speech from Governor Walker. Also, I have the earliest look at your short work week forecast tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10. Tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10, a stolen van, a police chase, and a car crash on Milwaukee's south side. And it didn't end there. Also, a group of cyclists make a powerful statement 10 years after a local firefighter's death. That caring for loved ones, that's what it's all about. And heartwarming moments at one memorial ceremony and a keynote speech from Governor Walker. Plus, I'll show you what part of Memorial Day you can expect thunderstorms tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10. Tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10, a fatal motorcycle accident on I-43. Details on what went wrong. Also, even with the governor's approval in limbo, planning for the Kenosha Casino moving forward. He was killed tragically in May of uh, 2004. And cyclists make a powerful statement on the anniversary of a local firefighter's death. Plus, I'll show you when thunderstorms finally return to southern Wisconsin tonight on the CBS 58 News at 10.